below there, humans of these earthlings, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, or if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. I'm Bushka. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Y5 ELC, this, the Defender medium tank that is running around at tier 7 as a reward for this birthday festivities thing. And I want to start off by saying hats off Wargaming. Great job. Really good job. Because this is quite simply a very relevant tank that actually works and fulfills a role on the battlefield without being completely broken and it's free. Like, it might be hard to get, but I'm telling you right now, this thing is a really joy joyful tank to drive. It's, uh, it's right up there. It has enough DPM to be relevant at the tier. Uh, you can get the 2700 DPM. It's got just enough dispersion, 0 0.330, to be fairly accurate. Uh, it's got good mobility. Its pen is very, very like the Comets. Uh, it's only got seven degrees of gun depression, so it doesn't really fill a space that the Comet's in. Its DPM isn't as good as that either, but it's close enough to other tanks, and it doesn't have enough armor to, to be really broken, but its mobility is great, and its low profile is very, very capable of being utilized well, and it has what, for all intents and purposes, is a solid concealment number. So I just, I'm flabbergasted that this thing is actually... Uh, on the cards that you can get a hold of it and you can get a hold of it as a reward tank and I think that's great and this is the second time uh, in recent memory that I've really gone off and been joyful about a reward tank the first time was uh, when I ground the original Tankenstein and didn't that just take a few hours in car parks around the northern beaches in the uh, the rainy days of winter grinding away at Tankenstein and going to the loo too many times at night. And that's exactly the feeling I got with this thing. This thing took a, a little while to grind, but for all that, it was absolutely well worth it. How does it perform in game? Well, it's a nice tank in that it performs basically as well as you can play. It's that kind of a tank where it's a very honest return. It also looks amazing. Like, and sounds incredible. The sound on the tank. Look, I got to be honest. I had a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a man crush on the noise. <laughs> it's like I've, there's certain tanks. I just love the sound of. I love the engine on the M48A1 pattern, for instance. And you can see here the mobility is absolutely crackerjack. Uh, 55 degrees of hull traverse, and you've got a turret that will traverse at nearly 50 degrees a second, 48 degrees a second. Combine those two things and you're rocking and rolling. Now, I run it with armor and optics. Uh, I think you could run it just as comfortably with a hit point buff and a camo net. Any and all of those little things, I would absolutely suggest that you run the, the rammer. DPM is a must on this thing. And uh, and just be prepared to... like The pen numbers are very like the Comets. Slightly under the Comets. But exactly like the Comets in that they're good enough when you aim and when the target is in a compromising position, but they're not going to frontally pen uh, heavy tanks with just simple tap-tap-tap-a-roos. Um, the gun depression is enough that you can get in trouble with it uh, because it's the kind of gun depression where you think you're going get to get a shot off um, and then it just stops up. Like 7 degrees is such a grubby kind of level. Here comes a KV-2. There goes a KV-2. Yeah, you're very low profile. One of the things that KV-2 has trouble with is low profile tanks. I mean, there's people whinging in this game, like constantly whinging in our, our game here. We just did 33k and 3300 damage in it. None of that was because the tank was OP. It was all because we used the mobility, the gun, the sting, uh, everything like that. And we got through it and, it and it was just grand. And that's lovely. And... It is indeed a very good indicator of what I think the tank really provides, and that is an honest return on your investment. By honest, I mean, if you drive this thing too aggressively, you will get penned. I love this game too. Listen to the engine. It's like a low-flying turboprop plane. I adore it. I really, really adore it. I wouldn't be surprised if that's where they got the sound from. Uh, this is Port Bay, and I've rolled over here with a Dracula, and he has a great game. He supports very well. We both play very aggressively here, moving across to get this corner against a horde of uh, 
rampaging mediums and lights from the opposition, as well as a Helsing and the Firefly, the uh, the Chaffee, the T-3485 Victory. Um, and we're, we're farming up the damage here. We really are. There's there's a real joy to this tank like it, it can do all these kind of things it's fast enough like you can get out and motor 55 kilometers an hour forward but you also have a top speed of 20 backwards which is very quick in reverse um if you get the angles right on it you can get a few bounces but your main armor is your profile you you're so low to the ground and that is very reminiscent on the elc bis which is the tank that you know its namesake um, this is also us reaping the rewards. We did all the hard yards over here. We've cleared the mediums. We've spotted tanks. And now we're just going to start having a bit of fun. Uh, tap, 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 a rooing away. I'm going to show you one more game after this one from uh, Mick Millet. No, no. <laughs> I completely flubbed that. That's Mac Militant. Also friends with Mick Millet <laughs> and Mick Mullet. And Mac Mollet as well. Very, very famous. <laughs> very, very famous trio. The Mollet, Millet, Mullets, Militants. Um, and that is uh, an even better game than the, the couple I've shown you here. But I've got to say, I enjoyed playing this tank. There was a lot of them at this tier. And I'm not surprised because th this is a lovely vehicle. Uh, you don't have a lot of armor, but you have good mobility. You don't have a lot of gun depression, but you've got enough. You've got a lovely aesthetic, a lovely immersive sound on the engine those things are important and uh you can get it as an event tank I, I mean you can pick up three tanks getting to level 50 with this thing and i think that's there's really something to be said for that now let's have a look at mcmillitan's drive here this is an aggressive drive let's be honest he is in the b cap also what is that panther doing there like this is two completely unexpected uh occurrences and then you have a look at McMillitant, and he's getting hit from the top because they're not pressuring up there. And this Panther's just really on the wrong end of the reload scale. He has not been able to get his eyeballs right. And I think he's got the stock gun as well, so he's really suffered. Yeah, he does because he's got the uh, stock turret. McMillitant is driving this thing so aggressively, and well he might because if you've looked at the map, you'd know that the majority of tanks on both teams have been spotted and there's a real opportunity for him to clear targets there as he rolls around. Now, this is someone that is well worth tunneling. Uh, anytime I see a Helsing on the battlefield, I am 100% uh, prioritizing him as a target. A well-driven Helsing is a game breaker. It's armor profile, it's completely a ridiculous alpha. All those kind of things can, can be nasty. Now, 0.330 dispersion is actually pretty good for this tier. Uh, as McMillitant grinds on towards 2,000 damage here in the uh, the BIS. Oh, look at that. Yes, thank you, he says. I'll buy that for a dollar. And almost immediately, more targets start popping. He's tapping. He's tapping on reload at the moment. Getting a lovely little bit of engine fire there. That KV-1S, unfortunately, is actually not even under the guns. He's able to get another shot in there. Four on four, and I love this move because he doesn't muck around. He doesn't sit there waiting for the sun to uh, come up, shine on his targets and give him another free bit of damage. Gets off his ass and he goes and finds the targets. And this is the mobility of the tank on full display. It is a lovely vehicle in terms of mobility. And uh, I mean, I sound, I sound like I'm probably being too enthusiastic about the tank. But the thing is, I feel like... It deserves that kind of enthusiasm because it, it's a free tank. Like, it's it's a free tank that you can get a hold of just by working hard and, and grinding and playing the game. So you're getting rewarded for playing, which is pretty cool. Now, it might be hard to get. I fully understand that. And that being, that being the case, well, you know, rest assured that if you do spend any money on crates or get boosters for this thing, then it's worth it, you know. But... I just think it's a brick, it's a cracker of a tank. It's a fun tank to drive, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, nice drive, McMillitant. Lucky with the AFK, but I rewarded the minute and I put it in because I love seeing tanks driven in odd positions that you wouldn't normally expect. Until next time, look after yourselves, boys and girls, and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.